Welcome to Conversations on the Edge, a series of short discussions about edge technology and the future of the Internet. Today we have nine rapid-fire questions to discuss the Internet and fairness, whether the balance of power within the World Wide Web is in the hands of too few people, and whether it is even fit for purpose. I am joined by Joseph Den and Chris Mayer, founders of Edge Network. So let's start there. And Chris, can you please tell us if we can call you two founders? Uh, yep. Uh, we have a flat hierarchical structure at Edge, though. So, you know, we're, we're not CEOs as such. Um, you know, we consider it more of a movement than a business, and, and it's shared with our community. So founders is, is absolutely fine. So, Joseph, who owns Edge and who benefits from its revenue? Uh, Edge is set up as a not-for-profit. So those who provide capacity to the network are the network in a very real sense. They they own it. Um, so we, we kind of consider ourselves as providing the plumbing, um, the magic source, if you like, that kind of hangs it all together. Uh, the bottom line is that everybody who participates in the network benefits from it. Why does this concept of fairness even matter? I mean, we do, after all, live in a commercial world. Um, it's predicted that cloud revenues next year are going to top $350 billion. And when you consider that half of services are provided just by three companies alone, you know, for all intents and purposes, that's an oligopoly. <laughs> it's um, more of a cartel, dude. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Um, you know, with the Internet of Things and 5G coming um, and, you know, pretty much every public service is now on digital, the, the the question we need to ask ourselves is, do we really want such vital infrastructure in the hands of so few private individuals? And, you know, the answer there is clearly no. Should access to digital services be a basic human right then, like water and energy? Yep, absolutely. Banking, healthcare, etc. They all require the internet. Um, and it's just wrong that a handful of companies should share the wealth of services the world needs to, to use. So we nationalize. <laughs> no. Um, the, the internet doesn't recognize borders, right? And, and the blockchain is designed explicitly to limit the control of any single actor or state. You know, it's a it's a tool for human liberation. Um, so no, you know, I, I really don't think we're talking about nationalisation. Uh, the great benefit of this technology is that we can fairly distribute connectivity and the revenue that flows from it without needing to place our trust in a single individual or institution. Who controls Edge if it is shared by the people? Who steers this ship? Well, we're on a path to complete community governance, so citizen ownership. Anyone with a stake in the network can raise proposals and vote as part of the governance structure that, uh, that's been put in place. Um, there's a full framework for that and guidelines for its use have been provided to the core team. One survey suggested over 60% of tech professionals are currently running a cloud app with Amazon Web Services. Are we just too late? Is the stranglehold of the big three just too strong? Uh, no, absolutely not. No, it's not. Um, cloud computing essentially just boils down to two things, um, storage and compute. Um, and as it stands, these things are delivered using centralized infrastructure, which accounts for more CO2 than the entire airline industry. And that's just going in one direction right now. Um, Edge provides a first, you know, the, the first real first viable alternative to centralized cloud computing that's more performance. Um, it's, it works out more secure, cheaper, and it's very important it kind of to the planet. Um, and as more people begin to understand this, we're going to see more businesses move to the edge. And um, to follow up on that, I think it's important to say that if we were designing the internet today, we wouldn't be designing it around a few centralized companies. Um, we definitely wouldn't be building it for the benefit of Jeff Bezos, right? Um, we'd be designing it to look something like Edge. So everyone needs a node in their living room. Yes, absolutely. Everyone needs a, a node in their living room, um, indeed their office. Um, you can sign up via edge.network, our main site. Um, software is currently available for machines running open source software. Uh, we have versions in, uh, in production for Windows, OS X, and, and also for mobile phones. How do I contribute to the Edge? Uh, talk to us. Um, we're onboarding early adopters now, um, and, and those guys are showing cost savings of over 60%. So um, it's also important to say that Edge reduces your carbon footprint really significantly. Uh, there's a carbon saving with every single job in the network. 
Um, we're working with the leading university here in the UK right now to put a put, put a finite value on that. Thank you, guys. We'll talk more about environmental impact in another discussion. Look out for more short conversations about edge technology by following us on Twitter or by joining our Discord community. You can find out more about Edge Network via edge.network. Thanks for listening.